Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Photopea video. And this one, I'm showing you guys how to do some spooky text in Photopea because this is the month of the spook. So I think it was pretty fitting. So here we are. Here's what it looks like. And it's super easy. So let's do it. Okay, so as always in a text tutorial, you're going to want to use some text. So go to your text tool down here. Go ahead and type in some spooky text. And as you can see, I already have the font on here. The font I'm going to be using for this is called Bloody. And uh, it's right up here. Bloody. Looks pretty good. I'm going to go with it. So there's my text. The size is 235 and it's white, but that doesn't matter. So now we can start editing it. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go up to filter liquify. So this is going to give it a spooky effect like a ghost. So you can hold left click and kind of drag out the text however much you want it. And control Z to go back if you mess up. So you can really just have some fun with it make these look like eyes or something and then extend these letters out give it a spooky look like so so now when you're done just hit ok and that looks terrible so I'm gonna go back and redo that so here's part two you don't want to go overboard with it because it won't look that great so keep that in mind um, I'm gonna try not to mess with it too much. Okay, this looks great. So I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Control J on our text layer to make a duplicate layer. And now we're gonna be editing the top one. So what you wanna do is you wanna go click on the top one and then go to filter, blur, motion blur, and turn that baby to about five. So you can see if you hide it, it kind of gives it like a glowing look to it, which is really clean. I don't know. I like it. So now hold shift, make sure both your layers are selected, both your text layers. And now right click on the bottom one and hit merge layers. So now they are one. So this is the spook. Looks really cool so far. So now what we're going to do is we're going to edit the inside of the text. So double click on your text layer. Go to gradient overlay. And the only thing I changed was the color. So I went from a dark blue. Here's the code. To a light blue. Which is the code here. And then what I did was I added a satin. And a inner glow. So the satin is the opacity is 83. I think these settings will vary for you. The angle is 19, here's the distance and size. The color is just a simple light blue. And the blue modes multiply though, and that's what the main difference is. So this is it without it, which I mean it looks good too. So it's up to you if you want satin or not. I personally like it without satin better, so I'm not going to use that. The inner glow is color dodge blend mode, which is very important. Here are all the settings, but you're going to have to adjust it depending on the size of your text. Just a simple blue. And that is what we came out with. So I think it looks really nice. If this video helped you, leave a like and subscribe. Or else you're going to be haunted for the rest of your life by uh, the boogeyman. Um, but anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.